on the picture longer so they don't have to see us dancing. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? I think so. I think well, so. Well, I won't dance next week then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's your picture. You should be happy. That's right. If you're looking for a great compliment to your, your Italian meal and who isn't making Italian meals, right. then we've got mm. one for you this morning. All With right. us this morning, the lost Italian, Mr. Corleone. The lost, <laughs> lost mobster. <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse, North Honey, Dakota. Gorgonzola hearts and some Spears delicious stuff. And, <laughs> and some. <laughs> Just talk to me. <laughs> okay, what's around the corner? Easter, right? Right. So this is a great recipe for Easter, I believe, because it's, as I have right here on the table, platter sized, mm -hmm. entertaining, family style. It works really well, or individual style. Hearts of Romaine with asparagus spears with a honey gorgonzola dressing. Perfect. Doesn't that sound yes, fantastic? Yes, this is what I would order. Fantastico. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> so, Fantastico. We're also showcasing asparagus, which comes into season now. It's a spring vegetable, mm -hmm. okay? From February to June, actually April is at the height of asparagus. Not locally, but in other parts <laughs> of America, right? Yeah. So when you go to the store, you'll find them, and they're looking beautiful right now. And when you want to test the asparagus, what you want to do is you want to make sure that it Snaps. snaps well. Okay, so that's a good. But asparagus. you can't do that in the store until after you buy it, right? I do it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> all right. Snap and put it back. So, asparagus spears, and all I do with the asparagus spears, mm -hmm. you can steam them. That's what I do. Okay, I boil them as well, and then immediately after they come out of the water, just after a couple of minutes, ice water stop the cooking process, and then they really? turn this bright green. Okay, because you don't want the nice. asparagus to be mushy, right? Okay. You can grill them because the weather is nice outside. Or you can even roast them in the oven. Whatever technique you want to do, have the asparagus spears because they go so beautifully together with the hearts. Now, the hearts of romaine. You have this beautiful lettuce, nice head of lettuce. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is pick and go down to the center to the delicate hearts of romaine, okay. the nice lettuce. Okay, we want the delicate ones right in the center. All right? All right. And then also we're going to garnish this with some bell peppers, can red just, and can yellow. I just say, where are you getting your bell peppers? <laughs> Look at that, ginormous. Only for North Dakota today. <laughs> oh I gosh. go through the whole box, that's the one. <laughs> oh, wow, seriously, okay, okay. Because I knew you were going to be cutting today. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Chris Berg, let's make the dressing. So honey blue cheese gorgonzola dressing, and we're featuring Italian blue cheese, which is gorgonzola. Love okay? it. You can use any blue cheese, but the gorgonzola is nice and mild. It doesn't have that big punch that we want. Just mm -hmm. nice and where it needs to be. Okay. All right, so ingredients. We have a teaspoon of minced garlic in the bowl. Okay. I'm gonna have a small spoon here as well. Grazie. Okay, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Anytime you make a vinaigrette or a dressing, it's always good to think about adding Dijon mustard. Mustard gives it that kick, it gives it that flavor, and it also helps thicken the vinaigrette or the dressing. Okay. Yeah. Honey, North Dakota honey, Ooh. legendary. Ooh. All right, so we have a quarter <laughs> cup of honey, we need a lot of honey because it's part of the dressing, honey blue cheese dressing. Good for you too. Excellent. And then we have a quarter cup of egg yolk, pasteurized egg yolk. Mm -hmm. It's about three egg yolks, okay? okay? And this is what we're gonna make the dressing nice and creamy. All and right. don't worry about the egg yolks, you can buy them pasteurized so they're very, very safe, okay? And then half a cup of white vinegar, right okay. into the bowl. And then we're gonna take this gadget. The whisk. The whisk, the whisk and yeah. we're gonna use it. To whisk. <laughs> Vigorously. Wow. Vigorously. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I forgot. For the last episode we did that, didn't we? Vigorously. It just came to me now. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> no, we'll behind the eight Okay, ball. so whisk vigorously, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. And then after that, we're going to add the uh, uh, vegetable oil. Okay, Andrew, we're going to get going over here. Yeah, let's do that. So let me show you how to slowly, slowly, <laughs> and whisking. Thank you. Slowly. I forgot to tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> so we steady stream vigorously and see how it starts to emulsify together, making the dressing. Oh, there we go, yeah. Okay, so easy way with the pepper. You just cut them to both ends off, right? Because uh -huh. we want nice strips to garnish the salad. Okay. And then we down, okay? Down the middle? Down the middle, and then we just go right inside. Because oh, what nice. we want to do, we want to work with a nice easy piece of the vegetable. And then That's we just better than and then we cut the white part out. You see how easy it is? Yes, yes. And then we just make strips, a quarter inch strips mm -hmm. to garnish our salad. Just like that. Okay? Okay. Andrea? Yep. Finish this piece. Okay. And then do the red one as oh, well. Oh boy, I might need your help with the red one. But... Okay. That looks beautiful. Thank you, sir. And then what we're gonna add now is a cup of the blue cheese. Okay. Okay? Right in there. Keep whisking? Keep whisking, okay. please. And then we're gonna garnish with some salt, a pinch of kosher salt. 
teaspoon, okay? I always use kosher salt and crushed black pepper, about half a teaspoon. We always want to season our food, right? Especially dressings. So we want to whisk this really good because we're going to kind of break up the, the gorgonzola in there, ah, all, right? all right? If you don't want to do this by hand, you can use a food processor as well. It'll make it easier and really blend everything together. Dude, that's a good workout right Uh-huh. Left and then right. See. Look at, look at those pipes. <laughs> <Pittsburgh. laughs> Ambidextrous, right? Beautiful, <laughs> Andrea, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, now let's do the, the pepe rosso. Pepe rosso? The okay. big pepe rosso. Yeah, this ginormous one. And you can save the rest of the pepper too, can't you? You just eat it fresh, yeah. That's right. That's what cheese Down. does. Okay. Okay. And then the other end? Did I cut too much off? No, that's good. Okay. Whoops. A little bit more, a little, little bit more. more. Okay. Uh, and then uh, just right down the center. Okay. And lay it so flat right, so it doesn't oh, right. fall off the table. Right down the center. Okay. And then lay it flat. And then just kind of open it up. Okay. And see how easy? And then just... Oh, boy. Okay. Like Samurai <laughs> Hotel. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Yes, and now? Oh, that's right. I'm I forgot focusing. Andrew's really, really young. I'm focusing. I'm, oh, thank you, Tony. I'm focusing. I have a knife. I have to focus. You remember Samurai Hotel? Yeah, John Belushi, Belushi right? That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, and just okay. Cut it right here. Cut it right there. My grandpa told me about that. <laughs> <laughs> what? what is up I set today? myself up beautifully, didn't I? <laughs> you did. Okay. Now, Andrew's going to cut really long strips. Marvelous strips. <laughs> How am I doing, coach? A little bit more whiskey. Ah, oh, grazie. Mm -hmm. A little more okay, pepper. Okay, okay. I like pepper. I'm you doing like pepper? All the red, sure. Right? All the red, right? Okay. What's the difference between this one and this one, Andrea? Size. <laughs> Color. <laughs> wow, <laughs> throw me the softballs, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's so much fun here on North Dakota today. Okay, so Again, no <laughs> I've got the knife. Be careful. Exactly. All right. All right. Now she's the one we need to fear, <laughs> not Michael Corleone. <laughs> Do what I want. Okay, now we're going to put this together. See how okay. I, I lay the, the hearts of romaine on the platter? And what you want to do is you want to make sure it fits into the plate. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So I cut the bottom part of the mm -hmm. hearts, not the top. We want to keep the beautiful leaves on top, right? Cut the bottom. Cut yep. the bottom so that it fits in your platter or your plate, okay? Great. And now we take our asparagus and we put them right down the center of each of the romaine. Okay, just like that. It's so beautiful, so easy. Bright colors, springtime. Rabbits everywhere. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you too, huh? <laughs> okay. okay. So then we take some of these. Just put them loose. Just let them fall. Loose, 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 loose. Okay. Gravity. Peppers are bigger than asparagus spears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does it matter how many? That's beautiful. That's okay. good. Okay. okay. And Wait, then we'll many? take some walnuts. Walnuts and blue cheese go together perfectly. Yes, they do. Okay. And walnuts are very good for you. Very high in omega-3. Mm -hmm. It's a good nut. Eat it, okay? And then we'll take some more of the blue cheese. Wow. More crumbled blue cheese. Look at that. You're not playing around, man. No. North Dakota today. And then we take the beautiful dressing that Chris Bird make, and then we just go like this. I just, oh. What a perfect cross. appetizer, yeah. right? Appetizer, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, perfect. Look at that. And then you have this beautiful hearts of romaine. Gorgonzola salad with asparagus spears. And then what we're going to do, when Andrew and Chris come over to my house, I'm going to present it just like this. I'm going to say... You heard it from here. That's our <laughs> invite. That was our invite, man. Okay. Just like La that. Familia. <laughs> Mr. Colleone, to the family. Oh, here we go. It's all about the family, all about right? the family. Yes. Thank you. La Familia. And all right, then, thank you very much, Tony Nacello of Lost Italian over at Sorello's in Moorhead. Or eat it like yeah. this. <laughs> there you go. We'll tell you what to do with your tax refund when we come back. <laughs>